Here's the 1978 International Carpenter bus. And I got this going a few weeks ago. I drove it back here, but it quit running. And I wanted to be able to get it into its parking space here where it really belongs and then I continue driving it a little bit more, but the carb won't it won't or the engine won't stay running at idle. So I'm going to use some Berryman's B12 carburetor cleaner. This is the first time I've used this, so we'll just give it a test here. I'm going to put in B12 into the fuel can and then also put in about and then fill the fill the can up with gasoline see if we can get it going because it would idle not great but it would at least stay running at idle before so that's the first thing I'm going to try here now I've got the battery connected I've got B12 in the fuel can so let's go ahead and crank it here may pour a little bit of gas into the carburetor just to give it a prime and see how it does then. Yeah, well now I've got some gas in there, so let's try this. I'm going to now let it run until it uses up all the fuel that's in that can so that it gets all the Berryman's B12 into the carburetor. So I'll just let it run now until it quits. That will ensure that all the cleaning agents get in there. Starting to build up air pressure. see if it'll start back up again. I filled the gas can up with a little more fuel. We'll release the air brakes and put it in drive here. Least. Okay, it's in drive. Let's see if we can move here. Okay, we got got forward motion. Now, for now, I'm just going to back it up and put it in its parking space. And I'll need both hands, so I have to shut the camera. On. Now it's back in its parking space. It's running about as smooth as it ever did, which isn't great, but 
I think I may change the oil on this. Go ahead and apply the air brakes. So now I'll just take a look at it now that it's in its parking space. Didn't get it quite lined up perfect, but not too bad. I might try to get it closer to the 59 Ford, but I don't know if I can get another one in there or not. So next thing I'll try to do is to drive it a lot more often now that I've got the carburetor clean with Berryman's B12, because before it wouldn't even idle and I couldn't, I couldn't really drive it because you'd have to keep one foot on the brake and the other on the gas to keep it running. So now I'll get the, uh, the Ford B700 uh, going. There may be a hornet's nest in there. I might have to spray in there before I can do it. And then we'll try and do the, uh, the Ford or the, uh, the GMC. I think I saw Black Widow Spider in the GMC, so we'll have to get rid of that. But I really do try to, we'll try to do more bus videos and try to drive the buses more. They certainly deserve it, but I've just been doing so much with cars recently that I haven't, haven't really had extra time to do the buses. But this one's still going good, but I think I can improve it even more with an oil change and uh, and working on the distributor. I don't think the vacuum advance is working properly on it. I did get a marine fuel can that I hope to adapt for use on the buses. It's in real good shape, but I think I might just need to change the fitting on the output of it so that I can hook the bus fuel lines up to it. But that way I can have a better fuel supply for the buses too. Uh, there's hornets and wasps in there. Gonna have to get the uh, Hornet and Wasp spray. <laughs> I just ran back when I opened up the hood on this one. So I'm gonna need to take care of those before I can do anything more with it.